What's up, Internet? Because of the channel, we do get asked a lot of tech questions and we try to be as helpful and as responsive as possible. Kadalasan, kahit sa Facebook page namin, which is supposed to be for the shop, hindi naman customer humihi ng tech advice, we do try to help as much as possible. And our guys here at the shop know what they're doing. They do have a lot of experience. I have a bit of experience. So usually, nakakatulong naman kami. But there's one question <laughs> na hindi ko talaga masagot. But before we get to that question, if you're asking where you can get good quality CD key activation keys for Windows, then yes, we can answer that. So waka na ba sa unactivated Windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang ang order. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, may CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako, pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com this is the question I can't answer. Basically, if a computer will play a game well. And it seems like such a super basic question. The publisher gives basic specs and recommended specs. And hindi ba dapat from there, you can already figure out if a certain computer can play a certain game well. And that's the first problem. How do you define well? Ano ba yung goods para sa yo, hindi goods para sa akin. We can boil down this problem into two phases. First, the objective phase, and then the subjective phase. Medyo complicated na siya, no? Inisip mo madali lang tong goods ba tong computer na to. The objective phase is what settings do you want to play the game at? Common settings are at what resolution? Usually, you start at 1080p, and then 2K, 1440p, and then 4K. But wait, we're not done. Tip of the iceberg pa lang yung resolution. After that, what graphic level are you aiming for? At dito, marami pang ibang options. But basically, you can look for performance, mid, or quality. And they change the textures, they change the lighting. But it all boils down to how good do you want the game to look. And once we're done with resolution and basic graphic settings, then comes RTX, if your card has RTX, and comes upscaling technology, DLSS, or the equivalent from AMD and Intel, if your card has that. May nagsasabi na bumibilis nga yung performance with upscaling technology, pero halata na hindi ganun kaganda yung image quality. After you decided what objective settings you want, then we go on to the subjective. But before that, since this is a video about finding your comfort zone, ano ba yung goods para sa'yo, Personally, for me, I usually play at 2K with high graphic settings. I don't mind taking a performance hit, masawaba konting FPS ko, for a better image quality. That's just me. Usually, I automatically turn on RTX, and yes, I usually automatically turn on DLSS. So 2K, high or best quality graphics, RTX on, DLSS on. Yun yung sweet spot, yun yung good for me. But you need to decide what's good for you. And that brings us to the second part, the subjective part. Objectively kasi, mas maganda tingnan yung 2K versus 1080p. Mas maganda tingnan yung 4K compared to 2K. Mas maganda tingnan yung high textures, lighting on, shadows on, compared to those things off. Yun, walang nagtatalo doon. But where people can disagree on and where it's a personal preference is just how slow can you go for an enjoyable experience. And that means the frame rates or yung FPS ng game na linalaro mo. Some people don't mind it. Some people demand high FPS. Bawasan mo na lahat ng ibang settings. Yung gusto ko lang yung pinakambilis na frames per second ng kaya. 
144 frames per second, mabagal pa yun para sa akin. Yan yung subjective personal preference nila. Some people are okay with 100Hz, some people are okay at 60Hz. Personally, for me, depending on the kind of game I'm playing, I'm okay with mid-40s FPS. And this is sacrilege. I, a lot of gamers out there are shaking their heads saying that mid-40s is unplayable. But for a story type slash action game such as Cyberpunk, I played it on 2K, yun nga yung mga settings na gusto ko. Relatively high graphics, but with a mid 40s FPS. Because to be fair, medyo malakas yung GPU na ginagamit ko, but everything else about my system was a little slow. But I was okay with that. Mid 40s, di naman talaga siya tunay na FPS. No problem for me. But again, for a lot of people, that's really too slow for them. Minimum would be 60, maybe even 80. And even for me, if I'm playing an FPS, I wouldn't play an FPS at mid-40s frames per second. But again, it depends on the game, and it depends on the personal preference of the gamer. Kaya hindi ko talaga masagot para sa'yo kung goods ba tong PC para sa games na gusto mo. Because I don't know your preferences. Yung goods para sa akin, baka hindi goods para sa'yo. So you need to figure out one, what settings do you like? And two, what looks good for you? Can you live without? Shadows for better performance. Are you okay with less performance, meaning the game runs slower, but the graphics look prettier? May interplay talaga yan between the objective settings and the settings that you're happy with or that you can live with for that game. So is there no easy way to answer this question? As with most things tech, the answer lies on the internet. An easy way to compare the performance of graphics cards in particular games it's just searching for two cards, two ballpark cards that you have in mind. And a lot of channels make side-by-side -side comparisons. For example, 1650 versus RX 480. They run both cards through the same path through different games. So makikita mo in real time, aning performance ng card na yon, what kind of frames you're getting, and in what kind of games. Plus, you can also see the settings that they use. Super easy resource, and I don't think people give them enough credit for this. Malaking trabaho yan. <laughs> Setting up the systems, making the game run through the exact same route over and over again, depending on how many cards and depending on how many games you're testing. Tapos i-edit mo pa yan para mag side by side sila. Great undervalued resource, all on YouTube. So with those kinds of videos, you get a ballpark sense na, ah, okay, itong card na to. Maganda siya for the game and for the settings that I want and for the frames that I'm looking for. And then from there, you can decide whether to get that particular card, go up a step higher, or kailangan pa ng more research. But yun nga, it's very hard for a third party, myself or someone else, your friend, kamag-anak, to tell you na goods na to, ito kailangan mo. Because the answer is really with you. So in the end, as with most things in life, the answer doesn't come from others, but it comes from yourself. Ikaw mag-decide, goods na ba to for me? Thanks for watching. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted, yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang hardware sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent table management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.